Dampers are made of felt. Spinets have only one damper per jack, which can sometimes lead to problems. It may occasionally happen that a damper will come down right on a nodal point of the vibrating string, causing it to ring with one of the higher overtones. This problem is solved on the larger harpsichords, where every jack has two dampers. The bridge is sawn out of a tapered piece of sycamore. By using different hardness and thickness of sycamore or maple in the bridge, the instrument maker can alter the tone of the instrument a great deal. The design of the bridge has been refined down through the centuries until the perfect shape has been worked out. Even the ornamental cutouts help the tone of the instrument. The violin is finished with an oil type varnish. This is a softer, more supple finish than shellac and will vibrate well with the surface of the instrument. It doesn't crack or craze as the instrument swells and shrinks with the change in the seasons. Each coat is very thin and is brushed out smooth with a red sable brush. Many of the later coats have coloring agents added to them. There may be as many as 20 coats on a dark violin. The spinet is ready to be tuned. Mr. Wilson starts by setting one note to a tuning fork. He can then tune a complete octave by ear, using fourths and fifths, tuning a new note by how it sounds in comparison to the note he just tuned. When that is done satisfactorily, he can tune the whole instrument by octaves. Just about right. I think I think that's low enough. Is it biting the felt just after it locks? Yeah, I can feel it. A jack rail is added to help control the jacks. Properly placed, it helps the instrument to repeat rapidly, especially important for playing trills and other ornaments. The spinet stand, a straightforward piece of cabinetry, has been built of walnut. The lid is also ready. All that remains to be done after three months' work is to mount the hardware, hinges, latches, and lock. The violin will take somewhat longer to finish. Each of the many varnish coats has to dry before the next one can be applied. This may take up to a week and a half for each coat.
after varnishing, stringing, and tuning, the final step is to place a spruce sound post between the top and back near the treble end of the bridge. This not only helps transmit the vibrations to the back, but by adjusting the sound post, Mr. Wilson can adjust the balance of the instrument between the bass and the treble.